Okay, so any men watching, don't. <laughs> any men watching, don't. Just go do something else. Go play football or something. This is a makeup tutorial. It's nothing to do with Positano. Sorry. So I've had a few requests in the last couple of weeks on um, doing a makeup tutorial. And yes, I'm a makeup artist. And no, I haven't done any up till now, just because I feel that there's so many out there already and you don't really need another one. But um, I do keep getting asked, so I've just done a very quick, simple one of my, well, I say my everyday look, I change it all the time, but just one of the simple go-to looks that I use, which is what I have on my face now. Um, I obviously, because I've never done this before, I don't have any professional equipment, I don't have the right lighting, I don't have the right background or anything like that. Um, I was gonna do it outside with a lovely view of Positano behind me, but it's raining. So that's not happening. It's very miserable outside today. So the best I could come up with was sitting in my little sun lounge here um, with the natural light from the window in my face. Yeah, now you get to see me with no makeup on at all. Enjoy the tutorial. These are the products I'll be using. I will talk you through it as we go along. So what I do is start with the eyes. A lot of people are always uh, surprised by that, but um, I just find that if you start with the eyes and make a mess underneath, you can clean it up and not ruin your foundation. So I'm using a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Burnished Bronze, and I'm just smudging that in with my finger. Um, they're great, you can swim in these, they don't come off at all, so I love these. If I was using an eyeshadow powder, I'd put a primer underneath, but today the sticks are fine. And then I'm going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which again is a very long-lasting eyeliner. Um, I have swum in this, the, um, the flicky bits at the end come off, but the rest of it stay on, so that's, um, that will last all day. And I'm just going underneath the eye. I'm just running a brush with a little bit of the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Cocoa. And I'm just smudging that under the eye into the lash line just to bring out the eyes a bit more. Now, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Um, I don't put it everywhere, just sort of like in the main, sort of like around the T zone where it's a little bit red under the eyes. You have to excuse the mirror I'm using, it's disgusting. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I do not do that big triangle thing under the eyes that a lot of YouTubers do. I'm too old for that, um, but I find that this is good. It doesn't settle into wrinkles, and I just need a little bit around the eyes and around the nose, and um, I'll blend that in with my finger um, just to sort of hide any dark circles or redness. And I'm actually setting that today with the Hourglass Ambient Ethereal Light Powder. I tend to swap powders around, sometimes I'll use a MAC one, um, but I'm using this one today. And for blusher, I've got the MAC Mineralize Blush in Dainty, which um, I do like. I've been using for quite a long time. I was using an Hourglass one, but I've run out. Um, so I'm back on the MAC one now. And just sort of like, do a like a fake smile so the the apples of your cheeks pop out and just sort of like stick it on there um, just make sure it's blended in and I'm just getting my hair out my face which I probably should have done before um, I'm filling in my eyebrows with today I'm using a Kiko eyebrow pencil they're very very affordable um, they've got a little brush on one end and they come with their own sharpener which are great uh, mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I love, but it's got quite a clunky big brush, so I normally make a mess. So I'll just stick some of that on. And then for lips, I'm going in with something a bit brighter today. Um, I don't actually know the name of this lipstick that I'm using. It hasn't got a name on it. It's just like a basically like a Clinique chubby stick in red. Something like that, just for a pop of colour, because it's winter. That is pretty much it. Now I've just been looking back at that video and cringing at the faces that I'm pulling in it and what I look like without makeup on. But um, one of the main things I wanted to say was lighting is critical when you're doing a makeup video because I can see that the daylight changed while I was doing it and it got brighter and it completely washed out my face so you couldn't really see much. Um, so yeah, makeup tutorials are really hard to do if you haven't got the proper lighting. Um, so see how this one goes. Maybe one day I will buy myself some lights. Let me know if you found this the most boring thing in the world, if it was interesting. 
I really did just throw this together. I didn't really think about it. I just thought I'm going to sit down, do my makeup and film it. So um, there's a whole load of in more interesting things I could do or maybe it would be better if I if I if you want to see makeup tutorials if I do it on other people which I'd normally do that would be ideal if I could go to work and make up the people at work and film while I was doing it that would be the ideal solution um what else yeah let me know what you think don't know what else to say I've just put myself on YouTube with no makeup on <laughs>